What's happening guys? It's Eric with the Hotbox Pizza Truck and we're in the La Florita Pizza Truck with Art and we're gonna try to make uh, some chimney action happen tonight. We're gonna at least start messing around. We got our finishing collar. That's already not fit the 8 inch flute there that comments. So. It's like right on the money maybe a little bit smaller but so I put some uh, this is what we're doing. This is not a how to do. This is just what we're doing. So it's eight on eight, no clearance to go in or being out. So we put a little couple recess cuts, maybe have to do a third one. We're and we're gonna see what happens. No pros here. <laughs> Put this finishing collar. It's like Duratec with their little screwing mechanism here. Then we're gonna use their uh, Class A double wall chimney and hopefully finish it with their cap with the Duratec cap that designed for the, the system. That's everything screwed and locked on spot. So if we get this finishing collar in, then we're gonna start removing the stuff above it and cut the hole. So. Let us get set up here, and we'll see you in a second. All right, guys, you saw we did two recess cuts in it. We actually did a third recess cut, and uh, we got it in, and then we just took that block, and I got on one side and Ark got on the other, and we just we banged her home. It is tight, tight, tight. It won't leak, and it's definitely not going to go anywhere. So we're super pumped about how that just turned out. What do you say? I like it. So next step, we're going to see what's going on with the AC. We're going to see how we can go through right now. Remove yeah, Let's. we're going to go ahead and get that. That's right. Get this AC down. Remove and, then, and then I'll start cutting. We'll get these uh, two pieces of insulation out of here. And then we'll start cutting this wood out. And then once we got a straight shot up to the roof, we'll get it drawn out and then... Drill a hole, up on the roof we go, mark a circle. Just need to clarify something, guys. <laughs> this is how we're doing it. This is how we feel comfortable with our setup. We don't know what ovens you have. We don't know what is your ceiling, yeah. what is your codes, what is your regulations. So that's how we're doing it, and that's how it's worked so far in and this I'll, area. I'll explain to you how we go through it, because I'm going to set it up just like I set my truck up. And my truck uh, has been inspected and um, knock, knock on wood, hold foot, on. Foot, foot, foot. knock on wood, I'm going on nine years as the truck's been built or something like that. Eight years I've, I've been in business, next month will be eight years. So we're going to put it together the same way and hope for the best. So, All right. Uh, see you so soon. yeah, we're going to drop this AC and then let, let's get to work. Quick look, insulation, cut that out. And uh, I just got to get rid of that uh, piece of wood there. And we got a straight shot up. There's no ribs or anything. Cross cross members in the way. So that'll be cool. All right. So this is what we came up with. was a little template piece of foam we had. I am straight there. Look good, no? Close enough. A little bit to the right. <laughs> <laughs> if it's like a half an inch, we're going to have to Then I poked it. the pencil right through the center. And so we're right there. So we'll drill a hole. And, uh... Oh, boy. <laughs> it's somewhere here. That's it. So we'll drill a hole, and then we'll go up top. And from the center of the hole, we'll mark where we need to be again. And then uh, we'll cut. Now I feel it's crooked. Easy. All right, I better double check. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wish I was a few inches further. <laughs> All right. We so got our go center. And see where we're at. Curious to see how far away from the AC unit we are too. Oh, we, we might bring this Before thing. Before we remove it, we, yeah. Let's yeah, we see. might bring us look a little it, temple. Are we gonna get that lucky? I don't know. We'll see. I don't we'll think we'll so. see. We'll see. Uh, 
I don't think people understand where you're sitting right now. <laughs> we're on top of the truck. We're on top of the truck. Our hole came up here. We were just, we had to move the, the AC units out of the way. It's pushed forward. Line ourselves back up. And then uh, do a rough circle. And then I'll get the flue pipe here and then do a perfect circle. And then I'll cut cut the circle out with the with the grinder we'll get a drop back in the coyotes are going off in the background like man we start working at night now we're working at on heights here at night <laughs> <laughs> like it's the, if you want to do it unsafer i think you just need to do it blindfolded we or something. Get the coyotes <laughs> in the hood. so we're about to cut this roof open and see what happens guys On. There's a chimney there. I'll bring in There's the pipe. a hole. Bring the pipe. Bring the pipe. You're on. Action. Wow. Camera is on the. Where's the camera? The camera's on, it's on the light. Wow! Right? Okay. Well, it fits in that hole. Like a glove. Uh oh, we're gonna have to move the oven over. No. <laughs> well, if somebody doesn't understand what's going on, he's swiveling it already inside the. In the finishing color, it's that's, in. That's locked in, boys and girls. Wow, we got a little air gap. I actually might want to open this up a little bit right here because I'm touching. I don't want it rubbing. Actually, I have to go inside and take a look and see what we got going on. But so yeah, guys, let's go look inside real quick. Let's go. Okay. See you inside, guys. So when we put the jack in the center, the front center of the oven, we were able to jack it up and just barely get it over. And look at, we're sitting so pretty. Nice even gap all the way around. Same thing inside. So, what I did with mine, we don't have them, but I took L brackets. And this is a double wall pipe. So I'll do little L brackets from here to here. And they'll be screwed into there, but only to go through the first wall, not the second wall of the pipe. And then I'll take a uh, red high temp silicone and just silicone all this hole up all around the brackets, the screw holes. And that's how I did mine. And, and uh, it's been dry for like going on eight, nine years now. So we're going to duplicate it and hope it works. But it did on mine. So we're going to give it a go on this one. So now what are we up to? What are we going to do we'll put now? Put the chimney cap? Yeah, we can put the cap on there. Make it look cool. And then we're going to mess around with this AC. So we'll see you guys in a minute. There. Art's going to do the honors. There she is. Locked in. <laughs> it's a pizza truck. It's got a stack. It's got a stack. <laughs> Woo! Well, I'm here the first time in my life. This truck. I've got to take a photo. 
my we, got, we got a stack on the truck. <laughs> you know it's a pizza truck when it's got a stack. <laughs> let me let me back up and show you guys. Maybe you guys can see. I don't even think they can tell. I, I can show them with my flip. Point the light down on the truck. <laughs> there he is. He's up on the back of the truck. <laughs> or on the roof of the truck. <laughs> Just put the pipe on. Okay, we got some more messing around today. We'll bring it back. We are cutting. We're going to make a square... Uh, tubing box around the pipe up in the roof so we're gonna go 12 inch uh, aluminum tubing or 12 inches uh, length cut four of them and I'll show you guys what we're doing I'm spitting and sputtering what's going on here gonna build a box around it like that and then the, uh, you know, the roof will go right to. And then when we do the L brackets up top, they'll screw into this as well. So it's going to give extra support. It's going to allow the heat to, uh, if if the heat gets past that high temperature caulking and starts to go through the roof, it'll get to this piece of aluminum, and then this will absorb some heat. And you got an air gap should help cool it. And then we've got nothing behind it. So with my truck, I had insulation all the way up to it, and I ended up by putting some of the high temp fire blanket, but I don't think we're going to need it in this situation because uh, I'm going to leave a, a gap on the um, on the roof panel, the inside roof panel too. So we're going to have a little air gap all the way around except for where the high temp caulk is up top. So that's what we're doing. We're just making a little box right now. You can use a chop saw to cut this aluminum, which is great. It does it. Piece of cake, but just put your earplugs in because it's super, super loud. So we're going to cut some in and we're going to get those screwed up into the roof and we'll, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so what we're we doing, guys? <laughs> we marked those uh, two by two aluminum cubicle thingies. And we're framing them around it. So it's. <laughs> I'm recording already. Actually. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, like I was saying, we're taking these, putting them up, marking our line. Then we're taking them down and drilling a couple little pilot holes through. And then I get up on top of the roof, our holes these up, we drill in from up top, and they're nice and secure. Then we're and gonna then, get this frame nice and solid so we got if you guys can see we got an air gap between the pipe and this pipe or the, the square tubing so if the heat travels past that uh, high temp silicone into this pipe you've got this air gap to help cool plus it's got to heat this pipe and then it's got to get past this and continue to go and there's nothing there so by the time it gets that far your heat's going to be dissipated this is a double flu wall pipe anyhow and then what we're going to end up by doing is going uh with the when we do the inside white panel we'll just trim it out around this uh the inside of the pipe of uh, the square tubing here so it'll be nice and clean and we've got uh air gap all the way around it i mean that's look like uh, and then up top we'll take the l brackets like i said and we'll secure the uh the flue pipe will drill through this and it'll have uh, l brackets and then we'll silicone that all up with the high temp and then once that's done our last deal we'll go ahead and put some stainless screws through here to hold that and then we'll bolt the the oven um onto the floor and it's gonna and then she's one solid unit See All right. you with the next uh, Let's step. Let's this out. <laughs> We're trying to come up with solutions now that we know that 
<laughs> Who's gonna break the bad news? You or me? All right, okay, here I'm it just is. Gonna say how the guy told me, like when he sold me the truck. I'm not mad at him because it's a nice guy. Maybe he didn't know it himself, but it, he probably, probably knew. Because he bought this one used, I think. So he said they just they see a little bit fungal up, schmangle up, touch something, do something, and we're like, okay, but today we discovered. He said it, he said the guy told him it wasn't turning on. Could be something simple. I thought maybe it was a, a capacitor keeping it from starting up. So I was up top on the roof and uh, moving the AC around to see if we could finagle it up there. Coleman muck. And I, and I peeked inside of it and I'm like, oh, that looks weird. What's that? Why is that hole there? And it's, uh, so as I'm, I'm like, oh, that hole's there because the shaft to the motor goes there to the fan. So inside of this uh, AC unit, the uh, the electric fan is completely gone, and the shaft that goes to the motor, to the it, it's all gone. So it's uh, it's a skeleton AC <laughs> AC unit up. So now room. we're looking for a solution just so, by a little fan. For now, yeah, we're just gonna not a power fan like this, but just a vent cover, something that he can open and close for now. And then um, we got to take this wire and move it anyhow up and over. So we'll, we'll probably put, we'll keep the wires up in the roof in case we ever need to access it. Although it would be a pain in the butt. Um, we'll figure it out. I guess I can. I even can buy extension way, for those. We'll keep the, some wiring up there in case we ever have to go back with an AC unit. But we're probably just going to put a vent here for now because that's going to. $700 cheaper than uh, another AC unit. But I've got one that the Freon that the compressor blew so out. So we're going to be so playing. I might have, I've got a good fan and, and a good motor. We might be able to build two out of one. But there it is. You know what we can do now? Since we know what, what's going on with this. Finish our panel. Let's finish our panel. Not tonight, but let's finish our panel back there in our back door and let's wrap that up. Okay. And then, uh, we gotta go. We, this has been, video's been going on. We've been working. <laughs> We've been working. So now everybody, All right, guys, you have like, questions. Subscribe. Like, we subscribe. Like, subscribe. pipe insulation. We're gonna just have to t tighten it up a little bit with the L brackets up top and silicone it all in. And we'll, we'll show you guys how we do that. But, uh, just super stoked at the way it went out. It came out. Lots of support around it. So when we tie it in. Um, we did bring the oven over the slightest little bit I can see on the floor, which gave us a perfect gap around. So I'm, I'm probably happy. Super, super happy. Guys, thank you for your support. Time for a shower and bedtime. Yep. Join us next time. Hope. See you guys. Have a wonderful night. Good night.